question 7a copy and complete the table of values for the relation y equal to 2x squared minus s minus 2 for minus 4 less than equal to s less than equal to 4 you can see the table of values with some missing y values and of course you are expected to look for them be part of the question using a scale of 2 cm to one unit on the x axis and 2 cm to five units on the y axis draw the graph of y equal to 2 x squared minus s minus 2 for minus 4 less than equal to s less than equal to 4 c part of the question on the same axis draw the graph of y equal to 2s plus 3 so you have a quadratic and a linear graph d use the graph to find the graph figure 1 the roots of the equation 2s squared minus 3s minus 5 Roman figure 2 range of values of s for which 2s squared minus s minus 2 is less than 0 solution because you are to plot 2 in one graph that is the quadratic and the linear so we have to construct two tables of values the first one is the a part that is the quadratic uh, equation already you have s values from minus 4 to 4 to get y we need basically two things that is 2s squared and minus s minus 2 is a constant and as such you write it under each value of s you have minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 like that so let's get 2s squared first you get s squared multiply it by 2 to get 2s squared when s is minus 4 s squared becomes minus 4 in bracket you square it you have 16 times 2 is 32 when s is minus 3 if you square minus 3 you have 9 9 times 2 is 18 when s is minus 2 2s two squared becomes 8 and so on for minus s you simply negate the s value so if s is minus 4 here minus s becomes 4 when s is minus th 3 minus s become 3 when s is 2 minus s becomes minus 2 and so on next thing is to add 32 plus 4 is 36 minus 2 you have 34 18 plus 3 is 21 minus 2 you have 19 8 plus 2 you have 10 10 minus 2 you have 8 and so on so let's jump to C part and construct the table of values for the linear graph y equal to 2s plus 3 now let's use the same range of values for s to get y for the linear graph you just need to compute 2s because plus 3 is a constant and as such you write it under each value of s so when s is minus 4 2s is minus 8 when s is minus 3 2s is minus 6 when s is minus 2 2s is minus 4 when s is 3 2s is 6 and so on you simply add 
minus 8 plus 3 you have minus 5 minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3 minus 4 plus 3 you have minus 1 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 0 plus 3 is 4 6 0 plus 3 is 3 0 plus 3 is 3 6 plus 3 is 9 and so on after this we can now plot the graph but you plot them at separate times you don't plot the two at the same time that can lead to confusion we are now in B part the plotting of the quadratic curve the scale given is 2 cm to 1 unit on s axis 2 cm to 5 units on y axis this graph you have here each of the bars has five lines so the five lines represent 1 cm what this scale implies is that you you count two buses from the from the the point zero here the origin to the end of the second bus you give it one so the next two becomes two the next two becomes three and so on if you move to the left you have negative values for the y axis from the origin to the end of the second bus you give it 5 the next is 10 followed by 15 20 and so on if you move downward from the origin you have minus 5 minus 10 and minus 15 this scale implies that one line is equal to 0 0.1 units on the s axis the two the two squares is 10 lines so if you divide number of units one by number of lines 10 you have 0 0.1 and on the y axis one line is 0 point five units so we plot the first point when s is minus four y is 34 so this is minus four by this k if one line is 0 0.5 it means two lines we give you one two lines is one so from from 30 then the the first two lines that is 31 the next two line 32 the next two line 33 the next two line 34 that is the point you have here and this is that point when s is minus 3 y is 19 if you do your usual counting you have it somewhere here from 15 you count about 8 lines if one line is 0 0.5 or you count four lines if two lines will give you one you have 18 at that point when minus 2 for s y is 8 this is the point when s is minus 1 y is 1 that is the point when s is 0 y is minus 2 you plot that point directly on the y axis when s is 1 y is minus 1 that is a point you have here when s is 2 y is 4 4 is close to 5 when s is 3 y is 13 so after 10 you count the next two line 11 the next two line 12 the next two line 13 you have it somewhere here and when s is 4 y is 26 so you join all the points together 
so you 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 always include the title of the graph the title is simply the equation that you are given to plot all the points have been joined together so we move to see part of the question plotting of the linear graph so you have the table of value for the linear graph minus 4 for s and y is minus 5 you have it somewhere here when s is minus 3 y is minus 3 when s is minus 2 y is minus 1 minus 1 for s implies 1 for y we have the same points on the curve when s is 0 y is 3 you plot that point directly on the y axis when s is 1 y is 5 when s is 2 y is 7 when s is 3 y is 9 and when s is 4 y is 11 if you join all the points together you are going to have a straight line graph all the points have been joined together you now have the quadratic and the linear graph together d part of the question use the graph to find the roots of the equation 2s squared minus 3s minus 5. one thing you must note here is that you can only solve any equation using the graph if and only if it can be simplified to the quadratic equation or the linear equation or both or both now if you share the first term of the given equation it is the same as the first term of the quadratic equation for that reason let us transfer the other two terms to the right hand side so if you do that you have 2s squared equal to 3s plus 5 if you transfer the two terms now to get the second term of the quadratic equation you need to subtract s from both sides so you subtract s from both sides in this manner you see that so that gives 2s squared equal minus s equal to 2s plus 5 for the quadratic you need minus 2 to achieve that you simply subtract 2 from both sides and that is what you have here after that step what you have is 2s squared minus s minus 2 equal to 2s plus 3 if you observe very well you see that the left hand side is the quadratic equation and the right hand side is the linear equation so the two graphs are embedded in this equation what it means is that the solution to this equation is the point of intersection of the curve and the line since both are equal point of intersection so you go to the graph now this is one point of intersection of the curve and the line if you trace to the s axis you have minus one this is another point of intersection if you trace to the s axis you have it somewhere here and if you trace from two or you count from two because i said that one line is 0 0.1 by the time you get here you have five lines so from two you have two point five 2.5 so the solution of the equation are s equal to 
minus 1 or 2.5. Remember, if you got 2 of part D, you are asked to find the range of values of S for which 2S squared minus S minus 2 is less than 0. What you have here is the quadratic curve. So the range of values at the point the curve cuts the S axis. The point where the curve cuts the S axis. You can see it. One point is here and another point is here. So if you count from the origin, here you have minus 0 0.8 and if you count from 1, you have 1.3 1.3 so the range of value is written using inequality symbol so you have minus 0 0.8 less than S less than 1.3 Peter course simplified maths. If you are watching a view from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like and share PSM videos. If you are watching a view from Facebook, follow and like the page for more updates, share PSM videos.